Spin a lot of guap. Can't get Morgan Tracy. I'm smoking on this. Don't this shit got me high. Will they be able to do the kind of damage on the ground they need? <laughs> we'll find out. It's the 49ers going up against the Dolphins. With that, let's hand it over to Brandon Dyke and Charles Davis. They've got the call of this week's ball oh, message. Larry, we could have been assigned to December games in Buffalo, Pittsburgh, Cleveland. Instead, we get the plum assignment here in sunny Miami, Florida. Today, it's week 12 of the NFL season, and we've got a good one in store between the San Francisco 49ers and the Miami Dolphins. Hi, everyone. Brandon Gordon and Charles. First down, and that's exactly what he did. Tannehill now to throw. It's complete. Stills. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. So you end up flailing away, and your hand gets into the wrong spot. Give him four on the carry there. It's second and goal. They're guessing about where you're going to go. I might come right back at him with the same play, the same set, and see if they can stop him. Yeah, drop him from the one, back to the two. Good play here. Third down a goal from the two. They will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. Only a yard there, so it brings up fourth and will get set to take over. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. Let's see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three point kick I'm here up playing soccer. I'm kicking back in Los Angeles. Out of the gun, Tannehill. And he'll be out of bounds, getting it across the 25. Well, he challenged the play, it did not pay off. And that means he lost a timeout in that challenge. And as a coach, you hate that. Don't know if you took the advice. And that's got to be so heartbreaking. You throw that flag, you probably feel really confident, and then all of a sudden, boom, you lose it. So third and seven and an extra defensive back on the field here. Definitely want to play coverage here. Throwing on third down, Tannehill. And he's got him. It's the tight end Cameron. They get nine yards. On first down, Tannehill. And Stills over the middle. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets in the enemy territory. To clear the guy running the drag. Because when you do it, you just put the ball around him. And then run the He's got some space. They go play action here on first down. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And oh, so close as he takes it all the gain, all that additional run after catch. Anybody who has that ability, they want them on their team. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll be taken down after a short gain as that takes us to the two-minute warning. I'm guessing mostly defensive highlights that we will see. Yeah, that's kind of cool. No touchdown scored yet so far. Yeah, none whatsoever. And Stills has got it. Touchdown, Miami. Kenny Stills, his second touchdown on the season. And the Dolphins are able to grow their lead. And after working on it all week, they're able to punch 
it in from the goal line. Nothing like good preparation and even better execution. They can keep up with me. I'm always taking flights. But now I'm getting what I like. They'll run it now. Out of the gun. And a short pick up there as he'll take this up to right around the 20. All afternoon didn't get a whole lot better there. To throw his team to go. You're going to find his running back. It's complete. It'll be a two-yard gain. And all of a sudden here, it's third down for the 49ers now on third. They'll run it now. Out of the gun. And he is going to lose so yardage much. here. Words he lost two, one. and it brings I up third. They'll run it now out of the gun. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 11 yards on the ticket. And the Dolphins have a first down. There's no doubt that the size is a foul. Lower center of grass just does not beat the back. Sometimes they run too upright and take too many hits. Not this guy. He knows how to get low, break tackles. And they'll go to the ground attack here. And he will lose yardage back to the 34 yard line. Nah, you expect to get a big gap in the space on a small defensive back to block it? That didn't happen on this play. And they can't get the long connection as it falls in. On first down, it's Tannehill. Pressure, and he's going to go down. On second down, here's Tannehill. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. It's a good and how the have a one on matchup. Yeah, they do. That's the reason why we just saw shedding those tackles, and that's what they're used to doing. It is, and it starts at the beginning. Of the They'll run it now out of the gun. And he is going to lose yardage here. It's a loss of a yard there, and now Back to throw. Out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy town. First and ten. And just in general, Charles, on a play like that, how tough is it for the defense to account for a running back essentially being a receiver downfield? It's very difficult, especially all I need is some guards. He's back to throw. And Cameron has Somebody it over the middle. That throw good for four. It's second down. And here comes play number six on this drive. And quickly, they get to the line. Well, the strategy was that they there. Get a senior tight end and make it a one by one point. They don't want to call it off. I don't know. Back to throw. And this will be incomplete. Someone's trying to throw the ball, and you can put pressure on them and make it tough. That's only going to help your defense. Yeah, he's since being hurried. He got rid of it before taking the hit, but incomplete. They'll look to throw. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Desperation tied for Tannehill on fourth down. And it's caught by Parker. And he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. Devontae Parker with time running out. And the Dolphins have taken the lead here in the fourth. It's how many practices we watched over time where the offense works on scoring late in the game and finding a way to win, as we just saw there. Well, Charles, they were close in the end, but they couldn't get that last play, that last little miracle play done. They were within striking distance, but couldn't find a way to score. They definitely had hope. I'm flexing like I work out.